Happy Tuesday and welcome to Barrel Racer Life. My name is Maddie Kemp. Um, so I'm excited that I got to do a little barrel racing. Can you see the <laughs> photobombing tuna tail there? <laughs> Anyways, um, we got to do a little barrel racing here now that I'm home in BC for a little while. Um, my trailer, unfortunately, my brakes on my trailer quit on me, so I think it's something to do with my truck connection. Um, but luckily enough, my dear friend Callie lives just down the road from me, and I called her and said, Callie, I need a ride this weekend. Um, and we actually had so much fun. It was so nice to get to go with someone and not have to drive. What a concept. So um, I ended up not taking Grinchy just because going with someone else it was a little easier and swapping everything over to just take Claude this weekend. Um, so Claude went with you this weekend and I will show you guys how it all went for us. I want to catch horses with my farm dog. Hey, play still. Oh, hi, Josh. Is that your buddy? Every toy a dog could want. Buster likes to play with bungees. That was the quickest turnaround I've done in a while. Um, I think I was down to Washington and back in 24 hours. This whole no visiting days thing is really frustrating. Um, so you're allowed, and I've said this before, so sorry if I'm repeating myself, you're allowed um, 180 days of visiting time in the US as a Canadian within the past year. And I have nine visiting days allotted as of right now until the end of May. So it's been kind of a back and forth trying to get this figured out, waiting on my visa thing. But anyway, I was joking around. I said, you know, I just feel like I haven't drove enough lately, so I needed to do, do another loop. <laughs> so went down, saw Cody for five seconds, picked up a couple of horses, came home. So... <sighs> Well, my dear friend Sam passed away recently. Um, some of you may have watched the interview with Sam before. Um, she had lung cancer, and when a good friend of yours who's the same age as you, we're only 28, passes away because of a disease that people are not supposed to get when they're healthy and they're young, um, it's really hard to wrap your mind around. So um, it's been a really hard week for all of us that absolutely love that girl to bits. And she's one of those people that if you knew her, you loved her because she just was so amazing in so many ways. So um, her celebration of life was everything that she would have absolutely loved. Um, Sam was very passionate about yoga and um, there was a yoga the next day for her in a yoga practice in her honor. Um, we did some kind of deep breathing and chanting in her ceremony of life. It was just beautiful and um, had a lot of her favorite things, including her dog was there and um, played some of her favorite music. And we also had tequila shots, which I don't drink a whole lot and I really don't like tequila, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this for you, Sam. <laughs> so it was an absolutely amazing service and so great to see wonderful friends and celebrate this girl that we all love so much. So we're going to miss her like crazy and life just doesn't make sense sometimes. I unfortunately have had to learn that a couple times in the past few years. Um, but you know, I think my lesson from all this is just to enjoy every minute, absolutely love those people around you and you know, leave the world a little bit better. Enjoy every moment of it and just spend time with the people that you care about and do the things that you love because life is short. Sam loved sunsets and we had the most beautiful sunsets the night of her service and all of us got to spend the evening together. We, including Sam, have all been friends since we were five years old and I absolutely love these girls and I feel so blessed to be able to call them friends. There's like a couple photo up over here. Oh, the water's too. So are we like 
Work it, work it. <laughs> Sam liked tequila. Oh. <laughs> So sure about the goats. Maddie Kemp, he'll be our last final cowgirl to go. Fun, fun, Maddie, ring around the barrel. out of Lottie's pen and somehow this morning it's in here and it's empty. I said I like strong coffee. She's not messing around this morning. <laughs> Are you ready to go fast today, Cloud? He's getting that pre-race nap in. Hi, buddy. <laughs> you are strange. All right, day two at the Kamloops Rail Race today. Um, Claude did awesome yesterday. Um, I'm going to call it a baby day. <laughs> and the reason being, like, he worked good for me. Um, we had some mistakes and, um, you know, whatever. Uh, he still went out and worked good. But I think why I'm calling it a baby day is that he was a little bit distracted by all the things going on outside the arena, which is good because this is good practice for when I'm going to start taking him to some rodeos. So um, there's kind of a hill above the second barrel. And there was a bunch of people sitting on the hill. And as we're running to the second, I could feel him looking up the hill like, oh, look at all these people. <laughs> but he still came back in turn like that wasn't bad by any means I just know that he can be better for sure um, we ended up making a little bit of money in the 3d so he still you know wasn't too far off the pace but yeah we're gonna try and go be a little faster today um, I'm hoping that because now he's seen the arena and kind of knows what we're here for that he'll be a little bit more locked onto the barrels so keep cross your fingers for us when I was a kid my favorite color was bright red and my little Jim Canna pony that I had only wore red. He had red boots and a red saddle pad, and I had a ton of different red shirts. And so I'm feeling kind of nostalgic in my old school red shirt today. <laughs> Not our day today. <laughs> Poor Claude, he ran in there so good and honestly just felt like he took a wrong step and kind of freaked himself out. So, you know, that's another thing with a young horse is those things are gonna happen sometimes. So, kind of crappy because I felt like we were on it today and we were gonna go do good, so, ah, <sighs> crap, but what do you do? So, Callie does not give herself enough credit with this run. She feels like it could be better, and there's always room for improvement, but this is her third run with this horse, and she kind of got her as, you know, a potential project and something she's going to work on, and I thought she did freaking awesome. So I told her that I'm going to put this run in the video anyways because I thought she did great.
Helpers here. Hi guys. Get a Rooney. Springtime. Sometimes I let Grinchy loose in the yard. You know, she is wandering off to the grass. And it makes all the other horses crazy. <laughs> As much as I absolutely love being in Arizona for the winter, one thing I really like about where I live is that there's lots of mountains, and I think that is the best thing to get these horses in shape is trotting up and down those hills. Hi. Oh, good boy. Oh, my dad, do yeah. You could be. That's all so my goodness. You do too, this one. You won't, Scotty? Oh, hi. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, this weekend, we will be headed north to the Williams Leg BCRA Indoor Rodeo. Um, I'm looking forward to that. It's about a six hour drive north, so it's a bit of a drive, um, but I get to go with my friend Callie again, so it'll be nice to have someone to split the driving with and get to spend some time with a good girlfriend again. I'm um, looking forward to that rodeo. It's kind of a fun one. It starts off the rodeo season uh, for the year for us here, so um, will be a good time for sure. Definitely looking forward to that. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. I I truly appreciate it. If you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe to my channel.